So our food co-ops have a lot to be proud of. And as a couple people have mentioned, we got to be better at tooting our own horns, right? We got to get better at telling our story. If we are giving money away in our communities and not taking credit for it through discount programs, that's a big challenge. So we've been thinking about how do we boil down our impact for consumers so we can communicate the added value they get when they shop at our food co-ops. What is that difference? What is that added value? One attempt is, if you see on your table, there's a couple copies of these impact cards that communicate the shared impact that food co-ops are having in our region. And this is just from one year, and it's underreported. You know? So how do we support each other to better measure that and communicate our impact? And thinking about the National Co-op Grocers Study that Sheila mentioned, and it's clear that food co-ops across the country are having impressive impacts on local in the local economy and organic farming, reducing food waste and charitable contributions. But getting back to that point of how we differentiate ourselves from our competitors, I want to focus on some areas that we are having impact that are unique to our co-ops and that set us apart from our competitors. So member ownership, good jobs, and food security. Last year, our food co-ops reported that they were locally owned by over 130,000 members. And Last year, over 11,000 people joined just co-ops in our region. So why are we drawing these new members to join? We have a unique financial and business structure, right? Our goal is to meet the needs of our members, our users, versus generating profit as the bottom line for distant shareholders. That's a fundamental difference. And that concept should be increasingly exciting to people given what's going on in our country, right? and our world. Also, our member owners have a vested interest in the success of our businesses. Let's use that. Why do they have a vested interest? Because they own it, and they see the effects of that ownership in our community. So let's help connect the dots and show them that, in, that impact. Um, another thing that really sets us apart from our conventional competitors is what we do with the surplus or profit from our business. What do we do with it? We do not export it to Abu Dhabi. It goes back into our cooperatively owned business, or the profit or surplus is distributed to the people who own and use it on a daily or monthly or weekly basis, depending on where you live, right? So how can we better communicate the impact of local ownership in our communities? That is a fundamental difference. Retail food co-ops have been leaders in building good, sustainable jobs in our communities. And last, just last year, our food co-ops collectively um, reported employing over 2,000 people with significant wages, discounts, and benefits given to their employees. So we want to be able to communicate that, that we are creating better jobs. This is one important way that we return benefit back to our communities. And as a co-op shopper, you know, all of our co-op shoppers, even if they're not members, they want to see that their purchases are supporting good jobs, right? So how can we help them connect the dots and let them know that part of your food dollar that you spend when you shop at a food co-op is providing good jobs and good benefits in our communities? That's huge. And then thinking about our roots. Where do our roots come from in the food co-op movement? Food security, right? The first food co-ops were organized in response to lack of access to affordable and healthy food. And so therefore, our work to continue ensuring access to healthy food and co-op membership is a competitive, competitive advantage. Let's communicate that. Measuring and communicating our work to, on programs to make healthy food and co-op ownership more affordable to all members of our community help challenge the perception that our co-ops are exclusive. How many people have heard that about your co-op? Exclusive, expensive. How can we be more welcoming? So. We know that we live in a highly competitive retail environment. People have choices on where to spend their food dollar. It is not enough that we measure ourselves against our competitors. That's important, right? But it is not enough. It is our job to differentiate how we impact our communities. We need to point, we need to communicate how we're fundamentally different and then point to the parts of our impact that our competitors cannot touch. Some examples we just went over. Who's down with that? Okay. Let's do it. 
Thank, Thank you, you, Bonnie.